Shabbos daf ayin beis. I didn't want to say anything, but yesterday's daf daf ayin alef was one of the most difficult daf, at least for me, to give over. Today's daf is a lot easier. The Gemara describes Hashem Tali and Hashem Vada. If a person has a suffolk whether or not he ate a piece of meat, he has two pieces of meat in front of him, and he's not sure if he ate the one that belongs to Hegdish or the one that's chulin, so he sets aside a carbon Hashem Tali. According to Reb Tarifan, he could stipulate and make it night and say, if I find out at a later time. That what I ate was indeed Hegdish, so the carbon I already brought today should work for tomorrow. In other words, it's not necessary to have knowledge when you bring the carbon. If it's not necessary to have knowledge, knowledge doesn't accomplish anything. Sezula, tremendous chiddush. If so, if a person was boiled a shifcha harufa five times, shifcha harufa is a shifcha knanis who's engaged to be married to Evid Ivri. And a person had five relationships with her, and in between each relationship, he had a knowledge, he had a idea. Since the idea, the knowledge, doesn't accomplish anything, I can bring one carbon at the end and would patter all five acts. The Gemara goes on to say that according to everybody, if a person designated a carbon for his first act, that designation stops everything. It's mechalic. And anything past that designation, you'd have to bring another carbon. But according to Rabbi Kiva, who argues on Rabbi Tarifin, it says that by Osham Vade, you need knowledge in order to bring the carbon, then Osham Vade is no different than a chatas. And just like we had the other day, that is machlit between Rabbi Yochanan and Rabbi in a chatas. If a person ate two pieces of chaylev in one awareness, and then he had knowledge that one of those pieces was chaylev, that knowledge, yidia, is mechalik according to Rabbi Yochanan. It separates and divides, and therefore, you would have to bring two karbanas. According to Rabbi that yidia is not mechalik, you bring one karban. The same Allah would apply to Hashem. So if a person had a yidia in between acts, he would have to bring two karbanas. According to Rabbi Yochanan, according to Rabbi Shlakish, just one karban. And now we go on to the sugya of misasek. Misasek is someone that's preoccupied. He does something inadvertently because he's preoccupied. For instance, if there's a knife on the ground and he lifts it up to himself, and by doing so he cuts a fruit off the ground, does ktsira. That's a misasek. He's completely potter according to everybody. But what happens if he intends to cut fruit A, which is detached from the ground, but he ends up cutting fruit B, which is attached to the ground? According to Rava, this is not a chatikha de yisura. He didn't intend to do a wrongful cutting, and therefore he's potter. But according to Abaya, he intended to cut. You're right, it's not a wrongful cutting, but he intended to cut, and he accomplished cutting, and therefore it's a shaygin, and he's chayv. The Gemara goes on to bring a raya to Rava from a brisa that has a reisha and a seifa. The reisha, the Gemara says, is referring to why Shabbos is more stringent than other averis, meaning avedizara. Avedizara. In other words, if a person does two malachas on Shabbos, he's chayiv two karbanos, that's very stringent, versus Avedizara, if he does three Avedizaras in one awareness, he shechs an animal to Avedizara, he brings an animal on the Mizbeach for Avedizara, he pours wine for Avedizara, all three, he only brings one carbon, which is less stringent than Shabbos. The Braisa, the Seifa of the Braisa, and that's the Raya Tarava, says the opposite. And there's something in other ways, other mitzvahs are more stringent than Shabbos. For instance, if a person is shayge without kavana by other mitzvahs, he's chayv and shabbos he's potter. What's the example? If he thinks that he's eating fat, but it turns out that he's eating chaylev. In other various mitzvahs, he's chayv a carbon, and in shabbos he's potter. What's the case in shabbos? That if he tried to cut he thought that he's cutting a fruit that's detached, and he ended up cutting a fruit that was attached, according to Rava, or according to the Brais, he's potter. And it's exactly what Rava said. So it's a good raya to Rava. Abai will say that the shaygig over here is talking about a person thinks that he's swallowing spit, but indeed he's swallowing fat. And he would be chayiv. Mashenke Mishabas is referring to when he tried to lift the knife up, and by doing so, he cut a fruit, and that, according to everybody, is potter. But in Rava's case, where he thought that he's cutting a fruit that's already detached, but he ended up cutting a fruit that's attached, you'd be chayiv. Now the Gemara just goes on to say that we can't say that the Reisha is not talking about Avedizara. That the Reisha, let's say, is talking about two Malachas of Shabbos, Ktsir and Tchina, versus two Averis, like Chaylev and Dam. Well, they would be equal. Shabbos, you'd be chayiv two Karbanas, and Chaylev and Dam, you'd be chayiv two Karbanas. So therefore, the Gemara is forced to say we're talking about Avedah Zara. Now, the Seifa cannot be talking about Avedah Zara. If a person did a Shaygeg 
he's chay, that's not true. By the Zara, all shaygim are potter. For instance, if a person thinks that he's bowing in a shul, but in fact he's bowing to have the Zara, he's completely potter because his heart is takaj baruchu. And if a person is bowing to a statue, and he decided that the statue is Avedizara, then it's Avedizara, then he's amazing. And if he doesn't decide that the statue is Avedizara, then he didn't do anything. What if he bows to Avedizara out of fear for his life or out of love? Now, of course, he shouldn't do it. He should give his salt. He should be Moisir Nefesh. But what if he did do it? He's also a potter, according to Rabbah. So therefore, the Gemara is forced to say that the Seif is talking about other mitzvahs and the Reish is talking about Avedizara. Have a wonderful, wonderful day.